They sponsored him. They sponsored him for him not to talk about what happened to him, which was this cancerous cell phone tumor from the cell phones. Look this stuff up if y'all think I'm lying. All of this is researchable. This is researchable information, y'all. Researchable information. And I'm going to show y'all how this works. I'm going to show y'all how this works. Look, here go another one. Look, and they point, they pointing at them. They pointing at these things. He trying to hide them, but look, you can't hide this stuff. And he not the only one. There's over 20 celebrities that got these things, and they all keeping it on the hush. And then when you check the records and you look at who's sponsoring them, Apple, Samsung, they're getting sponsored by these cell phone companies. I wonder why. Because they make billions and billions of dollars, especially the TV networks, because we watch it most of the television networks through our cell phones and through our tablets because we are traveling and we're going throughout our day. And we don't have time to actually watch the big TV no more. So they sell cell phones and they do their CPMs and CRMs through the cell phones. So they making most of their money off the cell phones. Now, this is the antenna that I'm talking about. And it's usually right at the tip of the phone. Y'all see the antenna? So this is the antenna. Now, the antenna emits electrical magnetic radiation frequency. Now, what it goes through, it goes through something called high frequency light pulses. When your phone rings, it rings at a pulse. That's why I go ring, ring. You can hear it vibrate. That's a pulse. When it's pulsing, that's when it's giving you the, the highest heat ever. So when your phone is ringing, make sure that it's not in your hand. When your phone ringing, make sure... That you don't got it on your, your ear. When you calling people and you hearing it ring before they pick up, don't put it on your ear. Keep it on speakerphone and just keep it out of your hands. It's super easy to do so. Now they even got sticks that you can walk around and hold the phone in while it was on speakerphone. There's so many things that you can do for preventing this thing to, to ruin your life, y'all. So I want to show y'all how this works, though. Check this out. So this is how it works. Now, check this out. So this is a before and after, and these are real pictures. Before cell phone use, you're seeing all of the colors. You're seeing that the the that the neuro uh, the neuro the neurological functioning is 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 good. The brain is cool. There's not a lot of heat. There's not a lot of friction, which is basically bringing the water that's inside of your your fourth, third, and uh, second and first ventricle because you you boiling the water. You boiling cerebral spinal fluid at that, which is causing a cationic environment, which is going to bring on parasites and tumors anyway. But this shows you before he used the cell phone and boom, look at him after he used the cell phone. After he used the cell phone, you see all of this radiation heat on his whole entire face. Y'all see that? You see that? Crazy, right? Check this out. Check this out. Now, this is what's happening, y'all. So when you actually look at these phones, so they call it the hexogenal layout. So notice it's shaped like hexagons. And I'm, I'm recording. In this hexogenal layout, notice you got all of these different cell phone towers. So there is no way you can get away from this frequency. So even if you keep your phone on you, right, what's happening is if you're driving, What's the phone is constantly binging off different towers. And when it's binging off different towers because it's trying to find a signal, it's giving you this high frequency light post sensation. This post sensation is like microwave rays that is just constantly flashing where, wherever your phone's at on that antenna. It's flashing through the actual cells. As it's flashing through these cells, it is causing the cells to mutate and it's causing them to coagulate because it's causing the heat to go up very, very high. Because remember, your body is made of academically now. Don't don't quote me on the exact numbers, but the body is made of 87 percent water and then the brain is made of 89 to 92 percent water. Now, I want to show you how this work and I'm going to draw it out for y'all. But first, I'm going to show you all the actual picture. So when you look at a water molecule, <clears throat> this is an actual water molecule right here. Right. So you see you have one oxygen and then you have two hydrogen bonds to that oxygen. All right. Now, if you look at the oxygen molecule, it is always at a negative charge. Right. Always at a negative charge. That's an anion. But if you look at the hydrogen, the hydrogen is always at a positive charge, which is a cation. Right. The moment that this thing get any type of radioactive frequency to it or minerals to it, it becomes electrical and it creates movement. Now, I'm going to show you how this work. I'm going to draw it out for you. all But I'm going to show you how it speeds up and actually heat up the cells. So when you look inside of your body, 
these water molecules are actually stacked on top of each other and it looks like this. So they already touching each other. But if they just floating around on each other, these molecules or these particles, it's not really causing that much friction. But the moment that it's given over to any type of watch or any type of radioactive frequency, it changes the structure of it and it starts speeding up. And I'm going to draw it out for y'all for y'all can see. So now I need you to just hover over me with this phone while I draw this out for them so they can see what I'm talking about. All right. Hold on, y'all. So now be gonna hold the phone. Tell him peace, now be. Now be gonna hold the phone, and I'm gonna draw it out for y'all what I'm talking about. All right. Just hold it right over my paper. Yes, sir. Make sure it show them a good one. All right. All right. So if you look at an actual water molecule, all right, we got the oxygen. All right. Then we're gonna draw two lines, and we're gonna draw the actual atoms of the hydrogen. Now, remember, your hydrogens is always hot. All right. So we're going to actually put a cation on it. Cation. All right. So that's where the plus set. This is positively charged. Then your oxygen is always an anion. That's always a negative. Right now, if you look at them, they are one hundred and four point five degrees turned. Right. That's how it looks. So they always is turned upside down. Now, let me show you how radioactive frequency work. So since you got two poles coming from the anion, this is called a dipole. So this is creating electrical current, y'all. This creating electrical current. It's your good on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, check this out. Now, this is your EMF, your electrical magnetic field. The electrical magnetic field actually look like this. It's a wave. You got different parts of this wave that give off different types of frequencies. You know what I'm saying? You got 470 hertz. That's the sun. You, you keep going. You're going through the whole color change. This is where actually your color change comes from. All color is black, but due to the frequency and the vibration of the resonance, it looked like that it's given a different reflection, but it's all the same color, which is this black color. That's a whole different thing, though. Now, check this out. So you got the water molecule inside of your body, right? Trillions and trillions of these. Then once you introduce it to an electrical magnetic field, say this is your body. You got all these different water molecules. Let's just draw a few of them. Forgive me for how it looks, y'all. I know it looks crazy. Matter of fact, point it right here. So this is what I'm drawing. You got all these different water molecules together, right? Now put it back on the paper. Now check this out. Say if I, my phone ring or I got my phone on me and my phone is actually given over into radioactive frequencies. The wave's starting to shoot through. Boom. All right? Now we done hit the hydrogen. Boom. Now it done hit the actual oxygen. Boom. Now we hit the hydrogen again and it keeps going, Right? Now, what happens is since you got minerals in your body like magnetites, magnetites is a reflective mineral. So we're going to put this reflective mineral called magnetite right here. I'm just going to put MAG, magnetite. Then we're going to put another reflective mineral called calcite because you got a bunch of calcite or calcium in the body as well. These are reflective. These are reflective minerals. So as your phone is shooting these radioactive waves through this actual water molecule, it's hitting off of different minerals and it causes a deflection. So it's going to reflect back. So we got one singular wave that hits a mineral and then boom, it's going to bounce back. You see that? Boom. It's hitting hydrogen again. Boom. Now it's hitting oxygen. It's hitting another hydrogen. And it's hitting oxygen. Now it's hitting calcite. Now it starts going back and forth so fast. It starts speeding up to the point where you don't even see the waves no more. It's just going straight through. Now, at this point, this little hydrogen and oxygen atom starts to turn upside down because you're hitting the actual dipole. So now the dipoles went down because you just went to the right. Then it goes up because you went to the left. So now act like this is the actual molecule. It's doing this now because you got waves hitting it from this way and hitting it from this way. So now it's doing this. Now, remember, you got a bunch of other molecules next to it. So it start hitting the other hydrogen molecules. So these start spinning. So now you got this whole entire coagulation of water molecules spinning very, very fast at the speed of light inside of your body, basically. That's what's happening. And it creates friction. This friction then creates heat. This heat overpower ATP. Now you got this coagulation and it's what you call cellular welding because the tissues in the body starts to heat up so fast that you start to weld tissue together. And tissue welding look just like this. This is tissue welding, y'all. Let me show y'all what tissue welding look like. So this on a smaller scale is inside of cells. 
These are cells. Your body is made of 150 trillion cells. Let's just say all of these are different cells. And in all these cells, you have water molecules, which we just drew out real big. I'm just drawing W's. Now they all these water molecules inside these cells are heating up. Now they start friction because heat. Now they starting to clunk together and weld themselves on top of each other. Y'all see that? So now when you got a bunch of cells welding themselves on top of each other, guess what they call this, y'all? A tumor. Coagulation of cells. Glioblastoma. All this happening through what? Radioactive frequency that's coming from the electrical magnetic frequency field of the body. Y'all see that? Now, what makes this even crazier? They got the nerve to put up a damn hexogenic cell phone tower cell that have over 500 of these cells. So, so it's going to make sure that it does this ping pong effect, y'all. And let me show y'all this again. This is how this look. So you got the receiver of the cell and the antenna constantly bouncing from your phone that's on your persons to all these different cells. So it becomes a ping pong effect. Imagine you riding through this. Imagine that. Giving you all of these different cancers. If y'all got my explanation so far, type it some nines and we're going to keep going. I know I got kind of deep there. Yes, refrigerators, all of that. And that's why if you peep back in the day, uh, Erica Rose, they didn't have refrigerators. Notice that they had cancer didn't exist until the late, for real, the late 70s. You don't start seeing a, a cancer epidemic inside the U.S. until the late 70s. And that's when they started creating all these different wire technologies and mobile devices. Technology is killing mankind. Technology has always killed mankind. When you think about the lost civilization of Tartaria, what killed them? Technology. When you think about the fall of Lumeria and Sumeria and ancient Mesopotamia, what killed them? Nuclear warfare. Technology. When you talk about the actual drowning and the lost civilization of Atlantis, what killed them? Technology. When you see what happened to the ancient Kemets or the ancient Egyptians, what killed them? Radioactive technology. We always get too smart by getting all this information and downloads from expanding our consciousness, connecting with our higher selves or what you would call aliens or extraterrestrial because it's beyond earthly terrain. They give us this technology. We get big headed with it. We create nuclear bombs. We create radioactive activity. And then we kill ourselves and everybody else that's involved in the process. And then civilization restarts itself. That's how it go. That's how we go. That's why there have been thousands and thousands of dynasties that have risen and fallen all because of tech Technology. That's why if you ask me for those who believe in the Bible, and for those who read in the Bible, it says, as the days of Noah, so shall the son of man be. What killed Noah in his days? If you really read it and don't read it for religion, if you really read it for what it is, that was ancient technology that happened that took down that. Sodom and Gomorrah, when they say that Jesus destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, that was nuclear warfare that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. That was a nuclear bomb. That's ancient technology we talking about. See, they dumb it down and they put all this this mythological meaning behind it for you can understand it they make it very allegorical but if you read this with your mind's eye open we talking about wars and ancient this it's ancient gods wars and technology and radio frequency activity that's being exchanged here and these are the facts these are the facts y'all these are the facts so before we start answering questions, y'all, I think that's all I want to really give y'all as far as the presentation, because we doing an in-depth presentation at the beginning of the week. It's going to be on my YouTube page and it's going to be on my actual Facebook page. My Facebook page is Yaki, uh, Yaki Rafa Elohim and my YouTube page is Yaki Awaken, y'all. Y'all check me out. Follow me on there. Uh, only follow the blue check page. There's a bunch of people out here pretending to be me. If it's not www.yakiawaken.com, I don't communicate with you and I don't sell products. I don't use whatsapp i don't communicate to all these other emails if the emails do not end in a at yakiawaken.com it's not me there's people out here pretending to be me taking y'all money and y'all never getting y'all packages that's not coming from yakiawaken.com okay i never scan anybody people that purchase from me i post i post them getting their stuff all the time because they send it to me so be careful out here not to get got so if it's not a blue check page i promise you it's not me don't even waste your time communicating to these people and if it's not through the website it's not me as well y'all so make sure y'all check that out. Uh, I'm going to give y'all a full thing. Now, I do want to tell y'all what to do. Now, the what to do is simple, and I wrote a bunch of stuff down for y'all. Uh, the first thing, first solution. I love solutions. So the first solution, let me put this back on real quick. Hold on. Uh, 
There we go. So the actual first solution, the first solution is to keep the phone on speakerphone while you're talking on it and always keep it two to three feet away from you. Always. Always keep it two to three feet away from you. The second thing I wrote down is never have your phone on your persons. Always put your phone in a carrier bag and make sure that you got a bunch of barriers between you and that phone. And remember, metal increases the frequency. Metal increases the frequency, all right? Next thing, always eat or drink dark leafy green juice. Dark leafy green juice is good for actually dissipating any type of radioactivity with inside of the body. So my geogenetic juice, you can make this stuff. I'm not charging y'all for it. It's a free recipe. Drink geogenetic juice. They have a real good chance of dissipating all this radio technology. The next thing to do is when you're using your phone, when you're not using your phone, put your phone on air phone, uh, uh, on airplane mode. That actually stop it from pinging off the towers. It don't stop the heating up, but it does stop it from pinging because remember the pinging is called high frequency posting and once we once i show y'all what that is that's mind blowing y'all and they know this stuff they know this stuff and they know this stuff is interacting with what they've been putting in us for the last three years when this whole you know pandemic happened y'all uh, it's 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 not a conspiracy at this point once you start placing the dots together and you have the research and the science to back these things up i mean what what can you say after that what can you say after that? Uh, herbs. I wrote down an herbal list for y'all. Uh, herbs. We got chickweed. Chickweed is very, very good for getting rid of, rid of radioactivity. Seaweed, uh, especially, uh, especially uh, fucus. Fucus or bladder rack is amazing for it. Red leaf clover blossoms. Make sure that the red leaf clover blossoms is the flower tops. Do not get the leaf because it won't work. Kelp. Kelp granules is good. Nettle leaf. Stingy nettle leaf is good. Red violet leaf. Do not actually get the, I mean, red violet buds. Don't get the leaf to the red violet or the purple violet. Get the leaf. That's good for you. And last but not least, dandelion root and yellow dock. All of these are very, very good. Drink them as a tea. All right, for those that want to get something from me, I always recommend to get the heavy metal detox off my site. If you don't want to get it off my site, you can make it yourself. I just gave you half the herbs that make up that stuff for free. You can buy it from a trusted source, mix these things together, create your own concoction or make your own tea up out of it. All right. With that being said, before we start asking questions, is there any questions pertaining to the lesson that we just talked about? And then uh, I'm going to take calls. You can call in and ask whatever you want. Heat or brew. You all, when you do a tea, the first thing you do is you all, me, I always brew my tea. I mean, I always heat to boil my tea for two minutes. Then after it boil, I let it, I let it uh, simmer for at least 15 to 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes before I drink, before I strain it and drink it. Uh, if you want to make it stronger, just, just steam it longer. The longer that you, the longer that you actually make it steam and simmer, the more potency and the more phytonutrients and bioflavonoids and biophotons actually come from the plant material and you break through that cellulose and you're able to extract all of those nutrients or the nutraceuticals that you need to actually alleviate your body of all of the detoxification uh, illnesses that you got going on. That's what I do. All right, the detox. I just gave y'all the detox. What about AirPods and Bluetooth devices? For those that want to know about them, same thing, but they kind of a little worse, y'all. They're a little worse, and I got some pictures showing y'all that. Wait till I show y'all these ear tumors, y'all, from these AirPods. But that's going to be on my YouTube and on my Facebook uh, live. The reason why I just did a little bit on here, because I got to actually turn the phone. It look kind of ghetto. I got to hold the phone, turn it. Now, B got to hold the phone with me. I'm in my studio. When I go through my, my database and go live on YouTube and go live on Facebook, it look way more professional because we ain't got to change cameras every Everything is done through my system. All right. Well, y'all can call in. I'm gonna take uh, what you give me. How many amounts of calls do you want to take, real quick, my B? We're gonna do five calls. Do five calls. We're gonna get up out of here. Yes, I'm gonna save this live. Yes, uh, she legit will help. She legit will help too. She legit will help. But you got to remember, she legit got a bunch of minerals in it, like magnetites and cellites too, and magnesium. So you got to be careful because certain minerals will cause that pinging effect. So, you know, but she legit will work as well. All right, y'all, y'all going to call in. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. All right, I'm just going through and I'm picking the first one, y'all. Best waters uh, right now, and I'm sipping on Pana. I'm sipping on Pana right now. Everybody be like, this is a Coca-Cola project. We tested it. It's a Coca-Cola product. We tested it. Hello? There ain't nothing wrong with it. Peace, peace. Hello? Your face is set. I need to see your face. Blessings to you guys. Hi. That's how you doing? I just, I just joined the live. 
so I don't even know, like, what, what, I don't know what's going right on. Now, <laughs> what, right now, right now we're talking about cancer and autism, how it's, collected, how it's connected to cell phone and Wi-Fi use. But you can ask any question you want to ask right now. Just uh, state, state your name and what state you're from. Oh, okay. My name is Jocelyn, and I'm from um, Charlotte, North Carolina. South, South um, the Carolinas. The Carolinas are very, very <laughs> ancient place you got the goal of geeky not tribes my out there. very <laughs> not my friend ancient place. but um my question um i'm dealing with asthma uh -huh. and um I, I think i'm dealing with cybo uh -huh. um i don't want to self-diagnose myself but that's what my intuition is telling me like i've been having a lot of stomach problems okay. and okay, i, I so believe we, it's cybo all right so first thing is we got to talk about is the actual asthma when you look at asthma, asthma is basically a structure uh, obstruction of the bronchial tubes or the respiratory system, and it's when a bunch of mucus and inflammation sets in and it constrict the airways, and the mucus builds up and it doesn't allow oxygen and carbon uh, dioxide to basically uh, exchange themselves properly throughout the system. So usually you swell up, you get inflamed, your 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 bronchial tubes they constrict too much and you can't breathe and then you suffocate you have to look at what's in control of the respiratory system in your breathing what's in control of the respiratory system in your breathing is what you would call the autonomic nervous system the autonomic nervous system is things that runs on autopilot like you don't have to think to breathe you don't have to think to to go digest you don't have to think for your eyes to blink you don't have to think to actually think these things are just going on your heart beating you don't have to think you have to say heartbeat these are things that's already ran on an electrical current system called the autonomic nervous system, which is all stimulated by the actual thyroid gland and the adrenal gland. So I wouldn't call it asthma. I would say that you have an adrenal problem. Usually people that's dealing with asthma, we fix the adrenals and it fix the whole problem. This is how you know I'm, I'm speaking right because the first thing they do with asthma is they give you an inhaler. An inhaler is nothing but a steroid because the steroids and the cocorteroids is actually what your adrenals need to, uh, to release what you would call acetylcholine and acetylcholine nesterase for you can breathe properly because all of these things are metabolically released and used through the adrenal glands. So if you can get your adrenal glands back online and clear out all of that systemic mucus build up out of your bronchial tubes and out of your respiratory system usually you can hawk that uh inhaler away and you don't deal with asthma no more now what causes asthma is severe dairy use so if you are any type of dairy products you have to get off of them immediately so no more yeah i do dairy. it i do it a little bit but it's not like you can't overly. even you can't even do it a little no. bit a little bit is a lot <laughs> Uh, okay. So, and, and this, I was just talking to my students about this, uh, you know, just a pinhead drop of toxicity to the body is like a whole pool of toxicity. So we act like, oh, I just took a pin, a pinhead drop of toxicity. Well, to the body is like a pool of toxicity. So okay. even a little is a lot for the body because the body is already backed up systemically. Our adrenals is very fatigued. We got a lot of metabolic waste, waste already built up in our systems and most of our kidneys and our adrenals are not functioning properly. So any little bit of toxicity you add to the human genome, you already messing up a lot of no. it. So uh, you got to do a proper detox. If I was you, I would do a all raw diet for 12 to 21 days. I would try my hardest to do that for 12 to 21 days. I'll be losing, I'll be losing so much weight. Oh okay, my so, God. so look, I, you got to think about it like this. Lose weight or catch an asthma attack and, and potentially let, lose my life. Which right. one sound better, losing weight or losing your life? Right. Lose, losing weight. I'd rather lose weight than my life. Right. You see what Being I'm saying? Alive. Right. So, so I would do a 12, try to do a 12 to 21 day all raw fast. If you can lose the weight, we'll come up with a program. I can get you on my Gorilla Mix powders and uh, my Muscle Up powders. We can we can gain your weight back. But I would do all raw, dark leafy greens. Make sure that you're eating more fruits than vegetables. And while you're doing that, you actually need to get the kidney and adrenal kit from off my website. If you want to make these things yourself, just go on the website, look up the kidney and adrenal kit, get the ingredients and make all teas out of them. And just make, and you can mix two to three teas at one time all right now and what what else i would do is i will make sure that my adrenals is online the best way to get your adrenals online if you do not suffer from hypertension or high blood pressure is to actually use licorice root licorice root is very very good to fix the adrenal glands now if you if you do suffer from hypotension and hyper blood uh hyper uh, hyper blood hyper blood pressure uh di disorders then what you can use is uh ashwagandha sometimes ashwagandha will raise the blood pressure if you see that's raising the uh blood pressure then always go with wild yam root all right and use that as a tea all right uh, also go for walks do breathing exercises 
Like, make sure you're focusing on your breathing. Mm -hmm. All right, do breathing exercises. Make sure that you're massaging your kidneys and massaging your adrenals and talk to your cells. Like, you mm -hmm. can talk to your cells. Send them good energy. Also, yeah, this, these things is good. Also, getting a lot of rest helps you regenerate your kidneys and your adrenals as well. So, an all-raw diet for 12 to 21 days. Make sure that you're taking at least... 40 to 50 ounces of water intake a day, spring water to be exact. If you can get on my geogenetic juice, do that as well. Uh, lemons and limes is good for breaking up coagulations and mucus in the bronchial tubes and get those adrenals online. And you will see that you'll be able to hop them steroids ASAP. Okay, okay now for the SIBO, do you basically kind of like recommend the same stuff? So for SIBO, we talking about small intestinal bacteria uh, uh, overgrowth. So SIBO stands for small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. That means you have an over cultural bacteria inside of the gut lining. First thing you have to ask yourself is, what is the purpose in the point of bacteria? The purpose in the point of bacteria is to eat acids and to help ferment your food and to break down sugars. So it's two things that's going, that's going on. You, have a, you either have candida albicin overgrowth because you are not metabolically breaking down your sugars and you're eating too many refined sugars mm -hmm. and too many hard carbohydrates like breads and yeast and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I think it, that? I think or, it's the uh, candy, see, candida the candida or, albicans. See that have have you have you had any type of bacterial vaginosis or yeast mm -hmm. infections? Yep. See, so yep, so it's candida albicans. But for the people that's listening, it's either that or you have too many acids in the body and the bacteria over culture lies to eat the acids. So what mm -hmm. I would do for that, definitely the three bitters three bitters three bitters three bitters three bitters will get all that candida out and you need to do a parasite cleanse so what i would do is the three bitters and the parasite cleanse for that so the three bitters the parasite cleanse and i recommend that you get the kidney and adrenal kit so that would be a geogenetic therapeutic package level one and we'll put all those kits together in a protocol for you to be able to take them right to get rid of all of that but stop carbohydrates no more breads but no can I do donuts. the fruits? Because I know some no, people so say the, the sugar. I was just going to say that. I was just okay. going to say that. So you ain't. So you're going to have to do more vegetables than fruits because fruits is going to further culturalize the candida albicans. Mm -hmm. You see that? So you got to do more dark leafy greens. So I say do 30, 70, 70% 70 dark leafy greens, 30% fruits. And then the fruits that you do eat, make sure that they're not sugary fruits. Make sure that you're eating citric fruits, fruits that's more sour, like uh, grapes, mm -hmm. uh, grapefruit. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Lemons, limes, yellow no. Jamaican mangoes, things like that that's not mm -hmm. so sugary or have high fructose in it because the candida albicans that's making up the cybo are going to love that. So 30% mm -hmm. sour citric fruits and then 70% dark leafy green bitter vegetables, 55 uh 40 to 55 ounces of water a day. And every now and then, if you can get it in, get in some dark leafy green juices with the herbs that I recommend you. And then make sure that you get the other herbs that I was talking about for your, your adrenal glands. And you will see you will see these detoxification of cyborg go away and especially the asthma. We do, we get rid of asthma all the time. That's super easy. Okay. And, all right. And well, what's crazy you. is with most of the, because a lot of children come to us with asthma, we don't even give them herbs. Guess what we just tell the mothers to stop doing? Get them off of meat. Get them off the of dairy products, and that's the only thing we do. Mm -hmm. And it changed within a, the first couple of months. They, they don't have to use the inhalers no more, and we're not even giving them herbs. We just say get them off the dairy products and get them off the meat. And next thing we know that they're they not using their inhalers, and they go back to their doctor, and the doctor takes them off the steroid. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, uh, thank you so much. Um, can you save this? Can you save this live? Because I'm going to have to go back yeah. and write everything down. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. All right. It. Thank All right. you. Peace, All peace, right. goddess. It's 821. I'm going to do a couple more, y'all. I'm going to do a couple more. Who else we got? Tell them I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to just do a couple more. I got a couple more. All right, peace, peace. Just accepted somebody. Climb on in. Let me bring somebody else. They ain't come in. Who else we got? I just brought somebody in. I just hit the first one. Peace, peace. Hello. Peace. Blessings, blessings. Where your face at? I'm so sorry. I'm literally getting out the shower. Can you give me like uh, 30 Oh, seconds? you got to call back, woman. <laughs> Why y'all be calling from the I've shower? I've been waiting. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, hang up. Call back. I remember your name.
Okay. All right. You got to hang up, though, goddess. I don't know how to do that. Top left. Top left. I'm so sorry. Top left. All right, look, I'm out. <laughs> All right, can you see me? Yep, I can see you. Peace, goddess. What's your name and where you from? My name is Yaritza, Yaritza? and I'm from Texas. Yes. Texas in the building. Which part of Texas are you from? Well, I'm from New York, but I'm living in Texas. I'm in McKinney. Oh, you're from New York, so like though. All right, peace to you. Got us. What's going on with you? Talk to me. Okay, so I have a six-year-old son, and you just spoke about asthma, so I'm not going to ask that because I got that answer. Mm -hmm. But I want to say that I took the depo shot like four years ago. Mm -hmm birth control i only got like three shots so i was on it for a total of nine months i've stopped taking it like four years ago and mm -hmm. i feel like it's like the effects are like still in my body yeah facts because it, da it literally damaged the endocrine system uh the best so what we do for women is took the devil shot did you gain a lot of weight once you got off of it or did you gain your weight while you was on it Honestly, like I didn't get those effects. I didn't gain weight. I didn't have a super heavy period. Mm -hmm. What happened is I stopped getting my period. Stop getting your so it completely okay. So that that sounds like a, a bunch of bunch of estrogen buildup and it stopped a lot of pregnenolone and a lot of progesterone. So usually for things like that, when people get off when women get off of birth control, we have to reset the endocrine system. So we have something called the sensual glandular kit on the site, but you're gonna have to be on a good diet though in order for them herbs to really work. So when you look at the endocrine system or what they call the chakras, it's actually like the biological clocks of the body and it handles uh spent in cholesterol, it handles your pregnenolone your progesterone and your estrogen and these are your sexual chemistries and hormones use these those depot shots and those little IVCs that they stick up you it tricks the pituitary gland and when it tricks the pituitary gland it stops prolactin and it communicates with the body to basically tell you that you going through your ovulation period and that you didn't get ejaculated in so you never get pregnant that's how it really works so it psychs you out so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna need that essential glandular kit we'll put you on it it'll cleanse and rebalance your glands out but you're gonna have to eat right while you want it and usually you won't feel those side effects no more and you got to be careful with them things because they throw you into premenopausal too you be young suffering from from you know what I'm saying from menopause you be like hold on I'm only 30 and it because oh it be because the birth control birth control like I also want to say like I listen to you all the time mm -hmm. I'm guilty of mm -hmm. having my airpods in and watching your YouTube mm -hmm. all day while I work like yeah. listening to it so I know about being on an all fruit diet or juicing mm -hmm. diet raw diet while you're taking your herbs yeah. I am going to get the geogenetic package, the second level, okay. because I've already been emailing people on your team. I know that's what okay. I need. Okay. So can I buy that additionally to that? No, you don't even have to do that. That'd be spending too much money. What you can do is... Uh, and I also want to like record my journey with it, and I was gonna see if there was like an email I can send yes, that to. I'll give you all of that email. Okay. Uh, what's your fa What's your Facebook? I mean, what's your Instagram name? Everybody. Yes. Everybody loves Yaya. Everybody, <laughs> underscore. Everybody loves. You hear this, Nabi? Yeah. Loves with an S. Yes. Yaya. Yaya. Y A Y A. -A, -A. Y -A. Uh, everybody underscore. Loves, love Yaya underscore. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna reach out to you. He'll give you the email, and then when you order. Uh, I'm going to make sure you talk to Bernard or Danielle from the office. And what they would do is they would just add this to the package without you paying more. We just basically what we do is we reconstruct the package to have everything in there that you would need. Okay. Thank you. So everybody so loves Yaya. Underscore. Okay. Yes, sir. You got that written down, Nabi. All right. Uh, go, all right. He's going to reach out to you in your e inbox. It's going to come from uh, Yaki Management, right? Yeah. It'll come from Yaki Management and he'll take care of you. Okay, thank you. Now I got to figure out how to hang up. <laughs> it's your top. It's your top left. Oh, okay. Bye. All right. All right peace, thank peace. You. Peace, goddess. Bless us to you. All right. Who else we got? Who else we got? I'm doing just the first ones. We got two more, y'all. I got to get up out of here. Two more. Two more, y'all. I'm going to be, on my, my next one, I'm going to be very, very selective and pick a male because I see a lot of females is in here and I don't want to, I don't want to look like that I'm, you know, I'm being biased. Peace, peace. Uh, whoever this is, I see y'all in, but uh, y'all y'all can't y'all ain't saying nothing. I see it's pitch black. 
If you can't figure out how to work it, go to your top left and hang up for me, please. That way we can get some other people in here. Damn, now be how do I hang up on other people? All right, whoever is in here, can y'all hang up, please? <laughs> y'all, somebody tell me how to hang up on whoever this is because maybe this is a sign to get up off this deal. <laughs> well, look, y'all, I can't have no more people unless he hang up because I can't hang up. He got to hang up himself. If I hang up, it's going to cut the live. Well, look that, with that being said, I'm going to say this video. Y'all make sure that y'all rewatch this, write everything down. Uh, I'm thinking about Wednesday. Wednesday, we will be live here from the studio. We'll be back Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday, we'll be live here from the studio, and I'm going to do the presentation on my YouTube and on my Facebook. Uh, just type in on Facebook, Yaki Rafa Elohim. It's going to be a, a verified blue check. That is my Facebook. On my YouTube is Yaki Awaken. It's going to have a blue check. That is my verified YouTube. Never follow any other pages that doesn't have them verifications because most of the time it's not me and these people are getting you for money. I don't do phone calls. I don't respond back to a lot of emails and texts and stuff like that that's not associated with yakiawaken.com. So if it's not at yakiawaken.com, automatically assume it's not me and I will never, ever, ever ask you for money over the web, ever. So if they're asking you for money and saying they're doing readings and bull crap like that, I promise you it's not me. People are getting people for thousands of dollars for pretending to be me, and it's not me. I will never ask you for money. I'm not finna call you or nothing if it's not through the site, www.yakiawaken.com. I love y'all. I'll be at y'all on Wednesday for the uh, for the whole presentation in the studio. It's going to be amazing. www.yakiawaken.com for the actual products or any herbal healing needs. And we got a whole new look, y'all. We got a new line. The herbs look different. We got a whole new everything that we rolling out. It's going to be amazing. My graduation from my doctrines is actually on August, I mean, on April the 19th. Uh, the flyer and the location is going to be made. I'm going to see y'all there in California. You know what I'm saying? I'm in that mug and cack and bound. You know, doctor, right now, I am Dr. Yaki Rafael Elohim. And that's just what it is, y'all. So I love y'all for tuning in. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Peace. Blessings, family. It says tap, tap his name to hang up. I don't even know where his name at, family. I don't even know where his name at. It's 2,600 people on here. But I'll be live with y'all again. Peace, family. Peace, guys and goddesses.